Cassandra. Call yeah. Can you go to the store for me, please? I forgot to get shrimp. I would ask Michael, but seeing that he's hurt, I didn't want to bother him. Uh, he can't walk anyways. That's okay. I'll do it. I'll be back, baby. Okay? Okay. Don't let me miss you too much. So, how's your leg? Oh, it's doing better. I just gotta keep the pressure off of it. Let me look at it. Mylene, what are you doing? Just taking care of my brother-in-law. Nurse. Uh, you can stop now. My leg is fine. <laughs> A little rubbing won't hurt. I see the way you look at me. I know you have a thing for me. I have a thing for my wife. Your sister. Shame on you. What's going on? Your sister has lost her mind. She came on to me while you were gone. That's a lie. He was flirting with me. Michael, is she telling the truth? No, no, baby. She's lying. You're evil. You're my sister, how could you? It's not me, it's Michael, he started it. What? I didn't start anything. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Are you saying you slept with my husband? Yeah, a couple of times. That's a lie. I've never put my hands on her. Mylene, why are you lying? Hold on, Michael. When did this start? Like two, three weeks ago. So you're telling me Michael slept with you? That's what I said, sis. Don't you believe me? Michael has a birthmark on his lower belly. If you've slept with them, you've seen it. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so where is it? What does it look like? It's, um, uh. Exactly. Why would you do this? Why, we took you in and you didn't have anything. We made sure you were taken care of. Why would you try and break up our marriage? You were always better, ever since we were kids. Mom and Dad always treated you better. You had everything. So your plan was to sabotage my life so I'm unhappy like you? No. You lied about my husband. Why would you do that? No, that's not why. Then what is it? You remember when you were dating Jason? And I told you that I liked him? You should have left him. I needed your support. But you chose him over me. That happened years ago. We were kids. You're trying to mess up my life over something that happened when we were kids? Oh my God, you never change. You can go around blaming others for your failures, but you caused it. I caused nothing. I deserve more. Your heart is filled with filth. You're negative. That's why people turn their back on you. It's your fault. Get out of my house. I'll send your stuff. You're gonna kick your own sister out in the road? You know I have nowhere to go. Here you go playing the victim again. You mean the same sister who tried to sleep with my husband? But it, it. Get yourself a hotel. Sandra, I'm sorry. Please, don't do this. I don't have anywhere to go. I love you, but I have to cut ties with you. You have an uncontainable evil and you need help. I wish you luck. So sorry, honey. I don't know what to do. I love her so much. Do you think she's ever gonna change? She's a grown woman. It's time for her to start living in the real world. Maybe it'll change her. Moral of the story is, 
Be careful of the people you let into your circle. Some people's intentions are to destroy the good you have in your life. Some people will hold a grudge for a lifetime because negativity is what fuels their life. Your greatest enemy is sometimes the person closest to you.